Eczema is a condition that can make your skin itchy and red. For some, the eczema goes beyond the surface and can be a lifelong health issue that needs to be managed daily. Hi, Julia. Julia Holman and dermatologist Dr. Leslie Story of the Valley Skin Institute go way back. Julia has been her patient for more than half her life, about 15 years. Julia has moderate to severe eczema. My eczema is actually due to my food allergies. My eczema is also related to like stress. <laughs> so if I'm stressed, you're going to see more scratch marks on me. <laughs> She's had it since she was a baby. When I was younger, um, it was most severe inside my arms and behind my legs. And as I got older, the eczema got worse in different areas. So like on top of my feet um, and my scalp. Eczema is an inflammatory condition of the skin. It's kind of a catch all term. Some people will use it for just a rash. Some people will use it for something called atopic dermatitis, and it's inflammation of the skin from various things that can make it inflamed. Anywhere from 15 to 20% of the population will have eczema. A lot of kids will have it under the age of five and they actually can outgrow it. Dr. Story says every patient's experience with eczema varies. So eczema is a roller coaster. It's, you do not cure it by any stretch and you have times where you're super flared and then you have times where you're kind of going okay and there's a lot of times no rhyme or reason. She says petroleum jelly is the best for dry skin followed by a lotion or cream. Your bread and butter, your daily routine with your skin is going to be moisturized, moisturized, moisturized and you have to find what works with you. And then you have this kind of middle ground where are you going to flare? Are you coming off of a flare? And so we'll do kind of a lighter steroid or maybe a non-steroid prescription. These are. And then when you're flared, we kind of pound it with a steroid. But for some like Julia, moisturizing her skin is only the beginning. I just feel like I want to scratch my skin off and just like take my skin off. Um, and so, especially on really hot days like today, the first thing I'll do when I go home is take a cold shower. It calms my skin down and then my skin is wet, so then I hydrate after my shower. Julia has found that a topical steroid plus an injectable medication every two weeks has helped manage her eczema. She's grateful for healthcare providers like Dr. Story who go above and beyond to care for their patients. My favorite thing about Dr. Story and I'm not kidding when I say she's my life coach. <laughs> uh, but she would treat me and hear what's working and what's not working. Now more than ever, we have a lot of treatment options. And so um, I would say don't give up by any stretch. With that being said, there's no magic bullet. It takes a lot of work on the patient's behalf, on the patient's family, and on their doctor or their provider that they're seeing. Symptoms of eczema include dry or itchy skin, red to brownish gray patches, small raised bumps, thickened, cracked, scaly skin, and areas of swelling.